Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to add a weapon to your FPS game in Concept 3. This is quite easy to do, so without further ado, let's get started. So what I'm using here is the first person example given by Concept 3. I haven't changed much, but what I have changed is that I've only set the rotate X of the camera to the mouse movement and set the Y of the rotation to be zero. So, to make the actual bullet, we first need to create our bullet sprite. To do that, we'll be right clicking, inserting new object, and searching for sprite. You can name this anything, but I'll be naming this bullet, underscore sprite, and pressing insert. You can choose any sprite you want, but uh, I have a sprite in mind, so I'll be pressing ctrl and v, and pressing enlarge canvas. Now I have this fireball sprite. I'm going to be pressing escape and putting this in a corner. Now I'll be right clicking, inserting new object and searching for a sprite. This will be our collision for the bullet so I'll be writing bullet underscore collider and pressing insert. You can uh, you can put anything in here because you won't be actually able to see this so I'll just fill this in with a random color and pressing escape. I'll lower this down to the desired size and putting this somewhere here. Now to create our actual bullet in the 3D form, we'll be right clicking, inserting new object, and searching for 3D. You can name this anything again, so I'll name this bullet underscore 3D and pressing insert. You don't have to do anything uh, to the faces, just press escape here and what you need to do is select your 3D sprite, go down and disable all the faces except the left one. And then coming here and selecting your left face object as your bullet sprite. I've resized this down to 48 by 48 and if you press play now you'll see that uh, the bullet sprite is there but it's really uh, stretched and looks really odd. The reason for this is the Z height. You can, uh, you can fix this by lowering the Z height if it looks stretched and uh, increasing the uh, z-height if it looks squished. So, after some trial and error, I've ended up with the z-height of 1.7 7 and the size of 10x10. 10 10. But do remember that this greatly depends on your sprite and 3D object, so don't go by these numbers. As you can see, if I press play, you can see the fireball is down there with a perfect size. Now, we need to deal with the actual spawning. So, I'll be zooming out and going to our bullet collider. What I'll be doing is going to its behaviors and adding a new behavior. And this, of course, will be the bullet behavior. You can tweak the values, but I'll just let it be like that. Now, we'll go to our event sheet, scroll down, add a new event, go to your keyboard, and searching for on key pressed, and then you can choose whatever key you want. I've selected the key Q, and now we'll be adding an action. First, what we'll be doing is going to your player and searching for spawn another object. You'll be clicking to choose and choosing your bullet collider and cl clicking done. Now, you'll be adding an action, going to your bullet, th uh, bu uh, bullet collider and searching for spawn another object. Again, you'll be clicking to choose and this time be spawning the bullet uh, 3D, sp uh, 3D object and that's about it. Now, for your uh, bullet collider, you'll be scrolling down and setting the initially visible to false. Now what you'll also be doing is adding an action, going to your bullet collider and searching for set z elevation and uh, searching for your player dot z elevation. Now you'll be adding an action, going to your bullet 3d and searching for the same thing. So that's here. And this time searching for your bullet collider dot z elevation. Press enter. Now one last code is uh, that you'll be uh, scrolling up uh, to the every tick, uh, adding an action, and searching uh, and going for your bullet 3D, and searching for a set position to another object. Click to choose and choose your bullet collider. Now, if you press play, so as you can see now, you press Q, some fireballs are spawning. You can use this technique to make whatever you want, even melee weapons. And you can also change the sprite of the bullet to make it something else. That's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Bye!